Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out an updated version of the XF5 frame from Nidissi. And it's actually, I think it's actually produced by iFlight RC, but sold by Nidissi on Amazon. This is the version 1 of the frame that I reviewed a while back, and then I put the wizard uh, version 2 parts into this, and it turned out pretty nice. It was a pretty nice flyer. I did like the the frame, the the carbon was very nicely cut, chamfered edges, everything was nice and clean. So I'm not really sure what's a whole lot different here. All I know is that th this is a version 2, it's been slightly revised. Um, basic same construction, you got a bottom plate, top plate. You have a basically a retaining plate here that has these press, uh, press fit nuts uh, that all the screws go into that hold the arms together. Individual arms, all the arms are 4 millimeters thick. All the other parts here are two millimeters thick, and I think that's the same as on the version one. And uh, I think the version two has these glossy uh, standoffs, still 30 millimeters tall. The, the original version has um, standoffs are also 30 millimeters tall, but they're sort of a matte finish color. And let's see if we just compare the bottom plates here, can you get an idea of maybe what's different? And it looks very similar. I can tell the cutout's a little shorter here. I mean, it's very minor changes. Maybe they did that to improve durability. If I lay the new piece on top of the old, you can see the shape's a little bit different. Not a whole lot of differences here. See that the hole in the back here is a little bit bigger than on the version 2 versus the version 1. So that's a little bit smaller there. Maybe to save a little bit of weight. The uh, arms are also pretty much the same. I do like the carbon from the Dissy, at least on this particular frame. This is probably their flagship frame. They chamfered all the edges, so not, there's no sharp edges on this, and there's no carbon dust. So usually when you rub your fingers on the the edge of the arms. You get a lot of carbon dust on your fingers. This was not the case. And then obviously it looks like they cut it properly. It's very, very stiff. Doesn't bend at all. And when you compare the version 1 on the left and the version 2 on the right, looks like the uh, shape's fairly similar. Not as much material on the end over there. And a little bit less over here, but a little bit more on the uh, where the screw goes in, so that's a slight difference. But yeah, very subtle difference in terms of the actual cutouts of the frame, but maybe they enhanced the shape here for durability. I think that's probably what they did. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll put this frame together and then we'll just see what it looks like. It's gonna obviously look a lot like this right here. Okay, so I finished putting the frame together. It was pretty quick, it took about 10 minutes to put it together. And uh, weighs 114.7-ish grams. If you went and looked back at my uh, V1 video on this frame, which you can do by clicking the card in the corner, you'll know that uh, the V1 frame was 104-something grams, almost 105 grams. So the V2 frame is about 10 grams heavier, so I'm thinking that they probably made some enhancements in the frame here somewhere to Im improve the durability. That's probably what... You know, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably most frame people do when they, uh, frame designers, when they come up with the version 2, they probably try and make the version 2 a little bit stronger, so they probably add a little bit of extra weight here and there. Very subtle, can't really see much difference between the two frames, just very minor differences in the cutouts, and I obviously you can tell here it's got to be the weight, and it's probably because they're trying to make the frame more durable in crashes. Anyway, so that's uh, going to do it for this review of the XF5 V2 frame. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.